Hey guys, welcome back to YT News. In today's video, we will be taking a look at some SJW cringe. And let's add a challenge. Try not to laugh at these. But first, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and much more. Click the notification bell too so that you don't miss any future videos. Now, let's get right into it. Number 1. We start things off with some SJWs who in protest decided to create a huge blockade and deny people entrance to a public building. They were chanting, no justice, no peace, and even started chanting that Alex Jones is a racist. Their protest was causing a complete inconvenience and was actually against the law. There were people even putting their hand in front of people's cameras, which was pointless because the other cameras were recording them anyway. There was even one woman who got a bit aggressive by putting her middle finger into the camera and even going towards it a bit. What was funny is that at the end of all this, the SJWs that were blocking the building actually ended up getting arrested. I mean, it was inevitable. Number two. Next, we have an SJW who was extremely angry and just going absolutely crazy in public. He made so much noise. He found some Republicans, and as you will see, he clearly does not like them. He started shouting at them and insulting them, and even threatened to slash their throats. That's pretty damn intense. Slash his throat! Say that. Every Republican! Say that. Suck my f***ing balls! Say that one more time. Slash my throat! I have seen people hate something or someone pretty bad, but damn. This is something else. This guy was really not a fan of these guys. The Republicans were calmly watching this guy have an absolute meltdown and were teasing him a bit for going crazy on them. They were completely unbothered and unfazed by this insane guy. Number three. In this clip, we have an SJW who tried to claim that he was wrongly taken for questioning while he was at an airport. He says that people were being prejudiced towards him and he was really offended by this. The interviewer then said something that left him speechless. A couple of years ago, I went back home and I had a long beard and I was stopped at the airport. Well, not really stopped. All right, you were stopped. Questioned. You were questioned. Yeah, right. Did they let you through? Yeah, they did. Okay, let's get over it. What now? Uh... She asked if he was let go and he said yes. And then she said that why is he crying about it? He should get over it. What now? The guy had nothing to say at this point. Clearly he was complaining about nothing or just trying to play the victim when pretty much nothing happened. Number 4. Now we have an SJW in the middle of the street who is in a weird green suit for some reason and she's busy shouting. She's shouting to people to tell their leader to stop putting people in concentration camps. You are a fascist if you do not stop your leader from putting people in concentration camps! I mean, I'm sure what she was wearing made people give her dirty looks, but then the shouting too, even more so. She's even calling people fascists if they do not talk to their leader. Funnily, it does not look like she's getting anyone's attention and is just making a mockery of herself. Number 5. Now we have one of the most ridiculous situations that you will ever see and witness. This woman was driving around in a neighborhood and a man said hello to her as she passed. She then turned around and accused the man of sexual harassment just for saying hello. Surely she did that. Don't fucking say hello to me, bitch. Why? Don't Why? fucking say hello. I don't play that sexual harassment shit. Let me get your address. What do you mean sexual harassment? Bitch, you don't fucking ever. say hi to strange women. You don't know, no, bitch. I'm gonna call the man was so shocked, he could not believe it. All he did was be nice and say hello, and that was it. But this woman was not happy about that. And she said, how can you say hello to women that you don't know? and she even took his car registration to take to the police and press charges. This woman was truly something else. According to this woman, no one should ever talk to her, even if it is to say hello, otherwise it is sexual harassment. Number six. We end things off with an SJW who got really triggered during a debate about the environment. 
She was in a debate with someone who had opposing views to her, and when the person who she was debating with said something she didn't agree with, she started shouting at him and causing a huge scene. In, in countries where 50 years ago they had to cook everything over a fire, people no longer have to stand over inhaling fumes, and they can now just turn on an electric stove. So. Yeah, but in those That's same, good. But That's in good for the environment too because you're not no, burning it's not, as much. Dude. Yes, no, it it's not. That's why air quality is improving. Air quality isn't fucking improving! Okay, I'm just saying that the level of like of dirty air particles. No, dude! No! Don't talk about science and environmentalism when you're lying! You're lying to people! I'm, how am I lying? What, what was incorrect? The person she was debating with was so cool and calm and just trying to have a constructive conversation with her, but she got really triggered and lashed out at him as soon as she heard something she did not agree with. But the funniest bit comes at the end of this debate where she actually ends up crying. That was some SJW cringe. Which one of these SJWs made you laugh? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and much more. Click the notification bell too so that you don't miss any future videos. We'll catch you guys next time, but until then, take care.